So your new track, um, obviously you've reached out to the new school. You've done that a lot. So you've worked yeah. with Lady Leisha yeah. and loads of Sweet others. Bow, Cash -tastic. Exactly. So with um, with Stormzy, how did the collaboration come about? I know Ashley D's on there as well, or yeah. Ashley Waters. Yeah. Uh, how did it come about? Stormzy's extended family. That's what I keep saying to people. He's, yeah. he's, he's, he's grown up in the same area as my brother. Mm. He's from South. Yeah. Good peoples. Yeah. Humble yeah. kid. Mm. And he... I wish he was our generation because he would have been so solid. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. He reminds yeah. me. He kind of reminds me of Asher when he was young. Really? Like, yeah, just his. But he attacks the mic. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like when Asher came out, that impact that he had when he was when he done like the day don't know. Like if you want, he's go, got they, a bit more of a chilled style, wouldn't you say? Who Asher or Swans? Asher. Not really. Not early Asher. Not when uh, Asher. Not when Asher was doing tunes like um whoa, okay. more or less more so. Okay, I mean, yeah, 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 so because yeah, yeah. that was like. That was uh, it was just a pack. I don't know, they do a face yet yeah, that's so similar. Mm, it made me laugh mm, on the video set. They just do this face like when they spit a bar, like Storm is a nice guy, but he goes, yeah. he said to me, Harvey, I don't know it is when I spit a bar, it's got my face screws up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. seen it when he spit? He just yeah. gets really aggressive. But I love yeah, it. Like he's about to punch something. Because he can't control it, but yeah. that's because he's feeling the music, what he's doing. So Stormzy's extended family, my bro. He's extended family, man. I hear that. So I'm endorsing everything he's doing, you know what I mean? Big up Stormzy. He's 100. Hopefully he has a really good yeah. year. Um, so, obviously, with it being blessings, you know, with a play on the titles, um, I want to know, like, a time um, that was, like, really difficult for you and then a time that was a real blessing for you. That's a very good question. Well, my career has been up and down for the last 20 years, but I don't know. Uh, Just pick one. It doesn't have to be, like, you know, the Probably the pinnacle, but... when... I'm going to do it pertaining to music, not my personal life. Hmm. So, probably when the government and the industry shut us down. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It, it was, cheers. We've got everything we got from you now. Hmm. We've sucked all your blood. Yeah. Bye-bye. Shelved. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and then you see now how, how, how fake people are. But that's 99.9% 9, that's of the industry. Hmm. I always say 1% of people are real in it. Fair. So, I don't really believe anything anyone says anyway. Exactly. You know I mean, like, I'm a Jedi of this. You can't outfox the fox. So <laughs> I love that. I, I'm in yeah, Obi Wan yeah, yeah. Kenobi's level now. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. even when people are talking to me, sometimes I'll be going in the back of my head. Yep, no problem. Yep, yep. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit in the back of my head. But don't take it personal. That's the music game. Mm -hmm. If you trust people in the music game, boy, you could lose a lot of houses. Exactly. That's you know what I, mean? I always respect about So Slow because you guys, obviously, you know, you came from the ends and you guys stuck together. So of course. I, I respect that. But then if you say, if I say a blessing. Mm. I got to say two things. I got to put my blessings. In, I got to separate them into two. Mm. My musically a blessing, blessing is winning a Brit Award. Like it don't, it don't get any bigger than that. I remember that. I remember you know that. I mean? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't yeah, get yeah. no bigger than that. Like yeah. I got, like I got a Brit Award in my mantle. Like I got a Brit. Yeah. To this day, I still look at them. Like, That's mine. <laughs> I was jumping on my grandma's couch when, you, when you guys mean? won. And that wasn't just yeah, for yeah, us, yeah. you know. That was for you, lot. Yeah. That was for our people. Mm. Like look, it's that. come from a council estate. And then my second blessing is my daughter, fam. Yeah. But she's actually my first blessing. Yeah. But I'd have to like separate it musically and yeah. family. Okay. Like my daughter, bro. Like, don't get better than her, mate. Have um that I, I'm I'm really glad that, uh, you're laying up these questions for me, man, because I was just about to talk about um you being a father. Yeah. So obviously you have a musical legacy. Um when it comes to your music, um, how would you kind of deal with, with your kids if they wanted to get into the music industry? It's so crazy because I have not my daughter is only lately, because she's seven now, Yeah, she'll be in the car, and she said to me the other day in the car, because I've, I've, I've protected my songs away from her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's hard, because when she's in the car, yeah. and she goes to school, people are like, this is your dad. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah, she's yeah. listening to radio, and she's hearing my songs. Mm. They, st they still bash 21 seconds, yeah. and they still bash it. So she got in the car the other day, and she looked at me, and I said, why are you smiling at me like that? She went, yeah. dad, you're famous. It's yeah, me, who told yeah, you yeah. this? I said, I said to her, who told you this? Yeah. I said, like, I said, I'm not your famous, I'm your dad. Exactly. Do you know what she said to me? A headmaster told her. I was like, what do I say to that? <laughs> <laughs> oh the, my God. The, the, the headmaster said that you're very talented, dad. This is me, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, this is me, my God. But um, you, just, you just try and like, because remember, like, my daughter cannot listen to my music until realistically, until she's like 18. Yeah, but, um, yeah. It's so funny. She loves um, 21 Seconds. That's good. So I always keep playing yeah, the radio yeah, edit yeah. and me and her dance and she sings it and she's like, it's my dad and she loves it. Hmm. But um, she loves, my God, she loves Coco. Oh, and I didn't know what okay, to say. Okay. So what I've had to do, I've gone, 
well, I can't stop her from listening to it because it's on the radio now. So yeah. So it's edited on the radio. What, mm. you know, what can I do? Yeah. So I left it and now, and now she gets in the car, Daddy, Coco, Coco. I'm like, oh, geez. Then I was dreading the question she <laughs> asked me next. And she went, Dad, what does he mean? Oh. And then I went. Cocoa Pops. Darling, he's talking about cocoa butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, you know what Daddy puts in his skin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She went, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's about cream. It's about cream. Yeah. I was like, how do I, he's just thinking about cocaine. In like, in a few years, she'll be like, it wasn't about I know, that. but yeah, I'd rather yeah, tell yeah. me but that. No, that's she's good. I like that. Oh, yeah, because all the kids yeah. love the song. And yeah. you know what? I actually watched OT Genesis' interview, Fair Play to him, and he said it's mm. a song that he, he didn't know it was going to be so big. Yeah. And he says, now, you know, he's got his own kid and his family, and people going to him, what is that? And he's like, oh my God, yeah. what do I say? Exactly. But it was his journey, and you can't knock a man's journey, but I think it's a very stru- cleverly structured record. Yeah, it is, it is, because it can he kind ain't of swing all over it. it. He ain't Kind of gang stories. He's just like the chorus is what he's saying. You're like, yeah. The, obviously, the really. It's like if you're part. if you're if you're from the ends, you'll know. You know, innit? and then if you're not, then it's still. He's also whatever. made it like a. It can be. It can be anything you want it to be. Yeah, yeah. For kids, yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. make it cocoa butter and cocoa pops. Mm. For adult, yeah, mate, it's straight cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you gotta separate it. Oh man. So I'm, I'm not gonna keep you much longer. Um, I've got a game for the end, um, but I wanted to kind of. This might even be a little Kickstarter. You might be interested in this, yeah? So obviously, NWA, they've got a movie going on. Can't wait You for guys it. are like, you know, the NWA or the Wu-Tang of the UK. That's right. You know, respectively. So if you were to have someone play you in the movie of So Solid, who would it be? Oh my gosh, someone asked me this the other day because people have been banging on about a movie. Yeah. And uh, what is the kid called? There's a film out with Adam Deacon in it called Montana. Okay. The yeah, yeah. Trace Kid. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. He's good. Okay. Him? When you watch Montana, I just loved where he reminded me of me. Like, I was watching it, I was going, yeah. he does faces like, he was kid, like <laughs> it was a bit scary. Yeah. This kid that's in the new film, Montana. Mm. And someone like, the, he's a kid, he was in adulthood or kid adulthood. Mixed race kid. Oh, do you know what I was thinking? Riley Ritchie. Riley Ritchie. He's a singer as well now. Yeah. But he, he's an actor. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. I was thinking about him. I like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I'd have to really think about it, man. There's a, mm. there's a few other people that that, that do it, man. Yeah. Do it if you like get a Kickstarter up. I will. Support well, people that. are being approached, but how do you tell ten different people's stories and get it right? Boy, that's for the director to figure someone out. Might, someone might be like, "No, nah, you're portraying me wrong." Mm-hmm. That that man might be like portraying me wrong. That's why it's a tricky one. True. But I don't know. We'll work it out. Yeah. We'll work it out. I hope so, man. I know you got EP coming up, mm-hmm. so. Briefly, like, what can we expect from that? I'm not really asking anyone to expect anything, really. It's, mm. more, it's more like, I, I, I bring out music how I feel it. So yeah. I'm going to bring out another two singles, mm. and then I'll probably just drop, like, the EP with, with a, probably, like, five to eight songs on it, yeah. just for people's enjoyment. Yeah. But I'm not really saying to people to expect this, to expect that. Like, I'm, yeah. I'll do who, I'll do me. Yeah. I don't really care what you think. Yeah, do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I, I appreciate the support, and I, I love making music, but yeah. I'm way past worrying about what people think. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? Like, just enjoy the music, man. Yeah. Like, I will give you strong records. Just enjoy it. Cool. That simple. All right, well, MC, legend, actor, among other things, Production, everything, owner, everything, 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 all under the sun. Harvey, it's been a real pleasure. Never a chore, my brother. God bless you. Underdog nice of the son. Underground, Crash yes. Williams, UK Full Stop, West Side TV. I like the way he says Crash yeah. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Crash. He's got his thing, man. The UK Full Stop. This is UK Full Stop, playing the greatest to the latest in UK urban culture. Thursdays, 10 p.m. to midnight on West Side Radio.